All right, guys. We just met Daniel. I watched the videos. I was walking out of the beer garden and. <laughs> and, this, walking and he's walking in. <laughs> he approached me. I'm like, is this guy about to attack me? Like, why is he grabbing me? <laughs> he watches the videos. So, thanks so yeah. much for watching, bro. Yeah, it's, it's really nice great to meet to you. See your videos. That's so yeah. crazy. Yeah. All right, see, see ya. <laughs> That's the second person in Munich specifically that has watched my videos that I've met, bro. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, uh, that was so shocking. And guys, I just had a I just had a full liter beer, so I'm a little. I'm a little buzzed right now, but holy crap, this is amazing. <laughs> All right, everyone just grabbed myself some Pizza Hut. I was met with a very friendly Pizza Hut employee who asked me where I was from and that incited the conversation and he's subscribed to the channel now. So thank you so much. Uh, it was funny though. He said, when I said I'm from America, like 10 heads turned into Pizza Hut. I guess that's not normal. And even in Munich or, or at least the norm. I guess food really is beer in Bavaria. It's only 10.30 a.m. here in Munich, and looking around, I can see that a lot of people wasted no time in getting them themselves a nice old beer, so good for them. So those are the real people y'all need to be worried about, not me. First, I had to do a double glance to make sure that this was real. Oh my God. Take a look at this right here, guys. You're not gonna... <laughs> That right there, I don't know if I'm pointing to it, but that is the Munich Cathedral. And to say that it's big would probably be an understatement. I mean, look how, look how far back it goes. It's just beautiful. That is so beautiful. All right, I've just accepted that there's gonna be people everywhere I go, <laughs> which is kind of my kryptonite. And it's a bit of an intimate story, so I wanted to talk about it in isolation, but it is what it is. Anyways, Yesterday evening, I got Pizza Hut for dinner and the employee was looking out for me because you know when they say, oh, this is a better deal than what you were gonna get, so just get it, more food for more money, so. Ended up getting a pretty sizable pizza and I was like, there's a decent amount of homeless people in the area, so I was, had already decided that I was gonna give some before I even got the pizza, give some to them. And I was walking back to the hostel and there was this one guy searching through the trash. So I figured, you know, what better of a person to offer some pizza? So I offered him, uh, you know, I grabbed two slices because they were small slices and he's like, no, 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 just one, it's too much. Like, you know, save some for yourself. And that right there killed me. Like you're literally searching through the trash for food. You obviously don't have much and, and you're turning down food, like, you know, being, persistent about it too like I had to literally force it into his hand I ended up giving him three slices that's all he would take and I don't know that moment right there was just so beautiful it just speaks to the kindness of humanity that someone in a situation so dire would still be looking out for for me like, like that was just such a such a crazy crazy moment for me honestly brought me to tears and I'm not saying this to in hopes of receiving praise or putting it out there that I'm like a good person or whatever because to me that's not the point of philanthropy. Philanthropy is about doing the right thing, giving to people, giving back in moments where no one else is around. And yeah guys, that was just a beautiful moment. That's why I bring it up is not to, to talk about me giving someone something but rather the response I received back. So beautiful and uh, that's really a testament to kindness of humanity and uh, the kindness of people here. I've experienced nothing but kindness from everyone I've met and it's, it's been beautiful. So thank you guys for, for uh, making this possible. Again, guys, we're kind of continuing with the spontaneous, just taking streets as they come, 
making random turns and look where we have ended up. Beautiful. All right guys, we just hopped on the train, successfully made it to Olympia Park. This is a uh, sports complex slash park built in Munich, and it was actually built to host the 1972 Summer Olympics. It's enormous, and I'm excited to see what it looks like. Also in this area of Munich is the BMW Museum, which I will be checking out. With the, we're gonna, another, there's always a needle in every, <laughs> every German city I've been to. Look at this. Always someone trying to show off their technological skill. It was the Soviets in Berlin. Was it them here? I don't know. All right, guys, we're on the way to the BMW Museum. And speaking of German engineering, Buddy's just cutting the grass on his own. So yeah, I'm super excited for the BMW Museum. I've always been a fan of BMWs, or Beamers as we call them, the United States. M4, that's one of my dream cars. To me, what stands out the most on BMWs are the headlights. The headlights are just so aggressive. When you see those pull up on you at night, you know right away a BMW is behind you. And yeah, they just it has such a personal look to it, you know? A BMW is a BMW. There's no mixing that up. So I'm excited to get into this museum and see what's in there. It's very highly rated. Some of you guys were telling me, urging me to go here. So thanks for the comments who wanted me to go here. Because that's why we're here, really. We came to party all night long. Another difference I can point out in comparing my experience here in Munich versus Berlin, people tend to stare a lot less when passing me by on the street here. Whereas in Berlin, it was like every person was just like staring at me for two, three seconds. And it's just not, we're not used to that. Because back home in the United States, especially if you're in cities, if you stare at someone too long, they think you want, you have a problem with them. And they will initiate some type of conversation or there may be some type of physical alterca altercation as a result of you staring at them for longer than a second, literally. So that's why here it's like when people are staring, I'm like, I'm not gonna do anything, but good luck. <laughs> but that's just the norm, I guess. I don't know, it's crazy. All right, everyone, welcome to the first beer garden clip. It's my first time in a beer garden. None of the employees really spoke much, any English. So it was very difficult because I was like, where do I go? I don't know, I'm, j I'm just like, guys, I feel so out of my element right now because this is my first time here and it's like, look at this, look. I was trying to try something new. I got like veggies and then I asked for sausage. I didn't know how to, like what the different, there's just a bunch of like words and menu items above the actual different choices. So I, I pointed at another different type of sausage that I'd never tried. And then he just turned it into a curry verse. <laughs> so that's probably my fault. It definitely is my fault for not knowing any German or, or not knowing what's going on. But I like going into these things without any preparation because then it's just like, it's much more spontaneous and you don't know what to expect. Another thing to add is I got a liter beer and it's poured well over the liter. One beer, the curry verse with ponds, fries, and vegetables. Let me know if you think all of that is worth 25 euros. I don't know. We still have some uh, remnants to clean up, but I am in a literal food coma. But yeah, guys, I see, I see what you guys were talking about. The beer garden is a cool environment. 
like I'm here alone, sitting by myself, and I'm still enjoying it. Like, got the umbrellas, you got the pebbles, you got the long wooden picnic tables. This is exactly what I expected. This is actually, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is Augustiner Keller Beer Garden in Munich. I think it's the biggest one by a good margin. But yeah, really enjoyed my experience here. I'm, I'm gonna be here for a bit. I haven't even started on the beer yet. Definitely a, a rest day will be needed tomorrow. So yeah, thank you all so much for uh, watching these vlogs. I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I've enjoyed making them. Now, I'm saying that like this is a conclusion, but I just wanna thank y'all because really I've been doing good numbers on these and I appreciate the support. It means a lot. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. So hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, again, like I ended yesterday's, another liter mug. Cheers. Actually, yesterday's liter mug was the only thing I drank. So, and this is probably gonna, I might be done after this because I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> so yeah, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.